Yeah, this this is a. Um, I'm hoping a completion of um, a four-year journey that I've had with paperwork that's on um, other parts of YouTube. YouTube uh, fighting Universal Credit Street. Uh, that's me in the picture. There's also fighting welfare's poetry, which um, I'm. Uh, been affected by a community treatment order which didn't have the right paperwork, didn't have me, turned back to law from 2005 because this has all happened in 2018. I'm hoping there's someone out there who's listening to it because I'm, I've got a non-effect uh, that's happened to me. Um, I'm hoping to get compensated. I, uh, I'm being led but, but by the mental um, Anguish that it's caused, or the the um, psyche that it's caused, has been a danger to me because it's a, it's as though they're permanently treating me for it. Because the the mental health, this is the country's England. The mental health service in the country doesn't allow for mistakes, so they don't. Um, all they all they'll do, all they have decided to do at the moment is continue to treat me since the day. That um, and, and because I'm being treated with antipsychotics, I've got to reiterate the action of the antipsychotic is making me naturally scared, and the um, and they're holding me on the treatment to feed me with the, with the antipsychotic is circumvented. Well, I'm recording this video and hope that someone else will hear it because I've got documents. I've got I've had, I'm in a mental health health um, place because they put me out on community treatment once again. I've had two or three years. Of in the Essex of the Essex area, saying that the, this is not their problem; it's a uh, Norfolk problem. And it's, and I've, I've had a PHSO, the Parliamentary Health Service Ombudsman, telling me that it's private and it's not a legal matter. I've got to deal with it. So they're they're adhering to themselves and enamouring themselves with their front of house and their regularity, but they have they don't know how to deal with in house. Uh, criminals or, or um, people hiding records and of course where um, where this where I'm affected is because I'm on the poverty line because I'm on, on independent on countrywide uh, national welfare I um, I can't afford to, to pay for a private action and um, it's making me so anxious that I can't actually explain it to anyone who's on the um, a lawyer, and they're now starting to say the last lawyer I spoke to said it's been too long since it happened to get it corrected. But actually, um, if you check out YouTube Fighting Universal Credit Street, and there's a diadem, an F diadem, I draw it on my head, no F. There's um, Fighting Welfare's poetry, is something where I was creative, and I've also got four years complete which is put so much in my favour, but it still hasn't been corrected this, and it still hasn't, they're still not dealing with it logically. They deal with it they, subjectively, all the time subjectively. The police have been dealing with it subjectively. I've had no one and nothing come my way. I want to leave the country. I've proved that I'm rational when I'm off these drugs. Um, it, it's just the system that I'm caught up in is feeding, feeding my head with um, fear. Um, my name is Stuart Mills, and um, I have fallen out of my family because of it, because they, they because the misdiagnosis doesn't come into their discussions over a period of years, and uh, I was given the prospect, I got the, the prospect, I got the prospect from myself with PIP money to take out a hair sample test, which got me off the, fully, well and truly off the, um, the antipsychotics that I was taking, that I've been given to as a life for a lifetime, by uneducated, omniscient. And check out the word omniscient. Omniscient uh, care workers, who um, have been fed, who have been fed the the answers themselves, and they just passed it on. Um, like which really, uh, they added a little bit to it every single every single hand that, that all the hands that handled it, until there was a weight at the end that I grasped and I went through the deck. So um, that's um, that's about all of it, really. And that's that's I'm, I'll maybe get this in uh, under five minutes. Maybe I'll be t talking more. Maybe there's someone who's joined these bits together. It does seem as if this is buried because no one wants to know about it. It's such a terrible thing that, that people are kept from this truth. But it it, it certainly shows a thing called uh, um, contrition, which really means that. Um, the people who do mind and do care um, aren't, are too busy caring about other lives um, 
to, to get on and help me with this. So um, I've got no one and uh, I, I should be uh, respected more and you should know about these things. Um, that's Fighting Universal Credit Street, F to down with an F letter for the key, the key, key way for it, or the icon for it, and that's Fighting Welfare's po Poetry. Four years I've been stuck on this thing and they keep treating me the same. But I've got the paperwork which shows that there was a bodge up or a botch up doing and they treated me on the wrong record with antipsychotics. And what they what they actually did was they made a claim that I was had a history of violence and aggression towards family members and others, which is totalitarian, to serve an antipsychotic when actually I'd never done those kind of things. So I was serving a system to, to explain to a system after they made a prognosis that that's what I was so that they could watch me explain. That's how sick it was. So I'll leave it at that. And um, please leave some comments if you, if you get onto this page and um, I'll try and get back to you because um, you might want to know, you, it's a kind thing to do. <laughs> that's all I can say at the moment. Thanks a lot.